And in the ability of EDTA to knock this stuff out, there's an important adjunct that I want to add here, and that is EDTA does draw or break down the calcium, but it does not actually chelate up all the gunk or the residue. So EDTA has been found to be effective in certain situations and not in others because of the whole program that surrounds it. So if EDTA is, is combined, for example, with garlic, then it works. But if EDTA is done by itself, it doesn't really work because it doesn't actually clean up the gunk, all the mess that's left over. And of course, there's been a huge advance over the last 60 years in the fourth item, which is zeolites. Now zeolites, they come in at a time when we need them. It's like a gift from God or goddess. I can say that here. It was like, oh my God, you don't believe in a bearded male deity floating in outer space with robes? <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry, I don't believe that. You, I, That's cool, but I don't. Anyway, I don't need. I don't think we need any more male deities. So you know, gift from goddess, Mother Earth, whatever you want, whatever creator, create tricks, as the case may be. Either or. What is it? It's a hyper clay. It has a huge sucking power. And what happens is, is as these little organisms build their little stone walls, which are called coral reefs or otherwise calcification, what they do is they go, oh my God, there's mercury over here. We'll put that in our wall. Why do they put it in their wall? Because mercury is a complete defense against your immune system. So they're building their castles inside you and they're putting, oh, we got lead. Let's put that in over here. Um, we've got depleted uranium. We'll put that right there. Depleted uranium consciousness. Think about it. It's the most ridiculous ever. It's like, it's like death urge times a billion. Arsenic, let's put that in here. Cadmium, we're going to tuck that in here. So all this calcification is also loaded up with heavy metals. That's where it is. And as you strip it down, suddenly the heavy metals become exposed. And there's been one thing actually medically reviewed and determined to actually break down calcification and suck up the heavy metals without side effects. And that is NCD zeolite. It's not even just zeolites, Yay. but NCD zeolite has actually done the research. Now, probably all zeolites do that trick. But hey, you know, it's like a knockoff thing. I support that company. I wish I had a better product than they do, but they have the best product right now. And it does that trick, and it's been medically determined to do that. So now we've got four tools in category one, which is what fries down the calcium. DMSO, MSM, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, EDTA, and zeolites. Zeolites are encased in all, all nuclear waste is encased in zeolites. Anybody know that? Every bit of nuclear waste that's ever been put in the earth has been encased in zeolites. You remember Chernobyl with their spraying on to Chernobyl? Do you remember that scene? That was one of the most harrowing scenes ever. I mean, imagine those, those guys were dead in days, sometimes hours from radiation. Who were those firefighters who were there? They were spraying that stuff on that reactor. What was that stuff? Zeolite. Zeolites. Wow. Now, since we've been dropping depleted uranium on Iraq for the last 10 years, we've got to literally fly over that whole nation spraying zeolites everywhere to suck up all those neutrons and all that uranium. It's unbelievable. It's the best ever. Now, I know there's going to be questions about this. We are, what about UT? Don't do UT if you're doing the decalcification deal because those little organisms show up in your urine. And I have seen people who've done UT 40 day fast end up with calcification right in their kidneys. Kidney stones. Does happen. Why is that? Because your urine is not sterile. Better used homeopathically instead of, now if you're, you know, in the desert, you don't have anything to drink. Okay. It's all good. Some people are going, what? What in the world is he talking about? <laughs> if you are completely confused, have no idea what I'm talking about, guess what? It doesn't matter because we will send you this document that explains everything I'm talking about right now for free. So, and now I want to I put a couple things in there. One is it's very spiritually oriented, is scene oriented. It's a religious document because obviously, you know, I can't cure anything. I can't even cure a ham. 
<laughs> Only doctors can cure anything, right? I should know, both my parents are medical doctors. I've seen their track record. No wonder I didn't listen to them. I mean, I, I haven't had kids yet because I, I remember how I was as a kid and I'm thinking, I, I, there's no way I could handle that. It'd be too much. <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky, have the right kind of kid. Anyway, you never know. Anyway, so this document, it's all laid out, very specific. Let's say you are a complete supplement moron. You can't, you can't, you get up in the morning, you don't know what to do, you have no disciplines whatsoever. We have actually just, I've been working with this for years now, this little protocol. Now we've got it in three stages. So if you're like beginner, 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 you like just off hamburgers, or not even, maybe, and some guy came to my seminar and he's like, yeah, I had my last hamburger this morning. It's like, whoa. It's easy. We've made it easy so you could just kind of just implement as you want to in three stages. Very simple. It can all be done in five minutes a day. How many people here brush their teeth? How many people here don't? It's as easy as brushing your teeth. If you can brush your teeth, you could do this. Do you drink water? If you drink water, you can do it. You go like this. You go like that. That's the whole thing about raw food. It's either going to be this. Or this. That's, all, that's the only difference. Isn't that a trip? Like between one of you, like I know there's some raw food superheroes in this audience. How many of you are out there? Raw food superheroes. Some serious gastronauts in this group. I know that all of you can just jump right onto it and even if you can't, it's all good. All you gotta do is just switch doing this and just go like this and it takes the same amount of work. It's the best ever, different result. Talk to Goji Girl up at our booth up there, which is um, right there. There she is, Goji Girl with the red hair. And Raw, right there with her. And uh, we'll get an email list going, Goji, is that right? There, There's the list right there. And if you want that, we'll put you on the list. You get it for free. It's couched in very spiritual literature. I want to tell you that because you got to be able to read between the lines. You're going to think I'm, I'm become L. Ron Hubbard or something. <laughs> You know, a friend of mine, he's like, man, we can't put this out. People are going to think it's like Scientology. I know something weird. And I was like, look, you know, either it's that or I get arrested. What do you want? He's like, okay, well. <laughs> it's a scene based. Now, second tier here. Now we get into the things that fry the slugs. Once we've gotten the shell off, then we need to fry the slugs. And that's where the real high-powered herbs come in. Number one herb in the world is garlic. This is the one. But I read Gabriel Cousins' book, and he told me no garlic. I read that, man. It's too stimulating. Meanwhile, there's road rage, billboards, television. Too stimulating? Kids from age zero on high-fructose corn syrup, and we're talking about stimulants? You know, kids at one day old on drugs. And, we're, and then we're concerned about stimulants? Garlic is the most powerful herb in the world, and it does both tricks. It not only fries the shell off, it fries the guys out. That's why garlic's so powerful. And I've paid the ultimate price with garlic because when I was in ninth grade, I had my first girlfriend. I, it was, I was this girl, she was so beautiful, and she was on the other side of the school. She had completely different classes for me, but I thought one day I'm going to meet her. One day I did meet her. And we kind of connected, and I got her phone number, first phone number I ever got. And I called her, and the first time I ever called a girl on the phone, first girl I ever kissed, I think. And, uh, and we kind of had this thing going, and then, then, you know, summer came, and we kind of lost touch, and then I didn't see her for 10 years. Lost complete touch. I'm, I'm in an airport, I'm sitting, I'm reading a book, I'm in an airport, San Diego airport, Southwest, Ter Southwest Airlines Terminal. This woman walks by and I, I look at her, I catch her, I'm like, 